Vasile von Stoke. Wow, you're all back, you're all back. It's mad, Stockholm. I mean, it, like, two days ago, I was, was planning to go out, like, all these, oh, fucking hell. I was going out clubbing, getting all buzzed up, you know, getting ready to go out, seeing all these nice, beautiful Swedish women. And you get out, and where the fuck is everyone? It's fucking empty, it's just totally mad. No one anywhere. I mean, you look around, no tourists, no Swedish people, no blondes, no polar bears, no fucking nothing. <laughs> So me and my mate were just walking around like, where the fuck we're gonna go? So that's this bus driver, where, 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 where the fuck is everybody? So everyone's like, this place called Landet. <laughs> so anyway, nice to see you back, back from Landet. It's like how Swedish people will move around to the same big party, so you have to keep yourself updated. So anyway, are you alright? Yeah. This is Sir Mal when I've heard like people are more to the left in Sir Mal, like Vince de Peltier and stuff like that. <laughs> I've heard that places like Östermalm, Jusholm and Ladinga are places where people play golf and more on the right. <laughs> right side, am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, what, what, what is this Ladinga place? I mean, it's like, you know, people play golf there, but it sounds like an African tribe. It's like, welcome to the Ladinga Republic. <laughs> Imagine like, you know, the protector of the island, they've got these sophisticated weapons, so you're like walking along the, over the bridge, and then all of a sudden, like, Phew! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> fucking golf pulls out of sight! Phew! You stay out of the evening, got a body? So... <laughs> that's the thing for you. So I just set out the different parts of Stockholm, bit by bit. And, uh lost myself a bit, but... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so, it's been mid-summers, and uh, people are back in Stockholm, and I'm back on track. Because the thing I've... Uh, the other thing I've noticed is like, you know, I mean, can you see me here at all? I mean, do I exist? So that's like the kind of feeling I get when I'm walking around in Stockholm. It's a bit like Invisible City. I mean, like, walking around everywhere, you see all these, like, wonderful ladies, and you're just like... Hello, and they're like, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> but the worst thing is when you see someone you know, and they and you're like, hey, hey, Jonas, Jonas, how you doing, Jonas? And they're like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Very nice to see you, terribly. <laughs> What's the deal? I, I walked past me five day or five fucking times today, and you haven't seen me. So I mean, it's like, you know, you start to wonder. But the thing is, when you do actually start talking to people, they are pretty kind to you. But you have to use this bit called drig, because <laughs> that's apparently something that works. So like, if I, if I see a nice, beautiful Swedish woman, I just walk walk up to her and I, uh, Are you all right? And she's like, No, I'm left. I'm only kidding with you. And she's like, you know, oh wow, are you from England? I'm like, no, I'm from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where the drink part comes in. <laughs> but I've actually got a point with all this, because I'm actually just like 25% British. <laughs> Things, I'm, I'm not sure if you would listen to me if I just like speak Swedish like I normally do. I think that's not my concerns, yeah. Thank you so much for your time. So, I'm going to go up to the Passapoye. Why am I going to go up to the Johan Kjöld?